In last week's episode, we got our first big downpours. We hit some big white water, saw some incredible wildlife, found ourselves a pot of gold, enjoyed our spa of the north, and slept next to a waterfall. Welcome to this week's episode. of day five. We're up for sunrise this morning. Uh, we figured sunrise over the waterfall would be really nice. And uh, a little chilly this morning. Just a couple suspect clouds in the sky, but we're hopeful that they're just like friendly ones. The storm came in pretty hot last night and luckily we had a tarp set up in time so we were able to kind of sneak under it, but <coughs> all mosquitoes flew right down my <coughs> oh my god. That's so bad. Alright, where was I? Yeah, it was kind of an early night once we actually uh, got all the water boiled and everything. So, we're just going to make a coffee and uh, enjoy the morning and then uh, start seeing what the day has to offer. I think blueberry pancakes. Wild blueberry pancakes. Oh my god. With Nutella. <laughs> oh man, I forgot about the Nutella. I have the peanut butter. Reese's Pieces Wild Blueberry Pancakes. So stupid. That's the name and I'm sticking with it. Alright, so for our uh, pancakes this morning, we brought Nutella, jam, and peanut butter. These aren't just for the pancakes, we're using this for like Bannock, we're using this for a few different things. I have to say I'm most excited about the Nutella. Mango jam after all. That doesn't look so bad. So we had a nice chill morning this morning. Slow breakfast. Not really in a rush to get out of here. We feel like we're, uh, in terms of pace for the overall trip. We feel like we're actually doing really well. We're on schedule. And then we were just looking at this next, the run out of uh, the falls here and uh, trying to decide if it's worth it to try to run some of it. But I think just with the water levels right now, it's a super bony section of the river. 
And on top of that, with the water levels being where they are, we think there's a lot of hidden rocks that we're not seeing underneath it. I mean, even if you think you can get around all the other ones, it's just not worth risking getting pinned. I mean, we passed two canoes just upriver that were broken. There's another one just down at the bottom of this set that's wrapped around a rock. Like it's, we don't want to be another one of those on this river. So we're just, uh, we're going to take it very careful out here. That's the mentality we're going to continue on with and uh, should be a good day. We had prepared ourselves for these technical sections, requiring us to move at a much slower pace. This is why it was so important for us to get ahead of schedule in the early days of this trip. We knew it was going to get tough and we wanted to make sure that we were not forcing ourselves to rush. We started the day with more footsteps than paddle strokes as we waded and lined our way down the river. And don't pull too soon where the nose is going to hit this, you know? Yeah. I'm going to kind of help it around. So just to give you guys an idea of what, we're, what we've been lining, I think we made the right choice. This river is super bony. Lots of places for us to make mistakes. That's the only one I was worried about, so don't worry about the rest. Well, life has nearly killed me, and my mind has put me on, yeah. Yeah. Life has nearly killed me, and my mind has put me on. Darkness nearly drowned me Sunlight low, don't it burn my eye This valley is a monster Alright, so the play here For you to get to that Very next high. small rock there yeah. We're gonna push it out And you have to wait until the my middle of the canoe at least empty. Is past this rock here before you start pulling in Okay, but well, once I pull in Yep. I'm at a good angle here, I think. Such a, such you good? A long, long way to go. I got to lay down here and rest. Take another step down. A lot of waves happening in there. Do some cross draws. What? Cross draws. I just want to get us over to the right a little bit. Current pushing us left right now. Yeah. After a long stretch of walking, right, we are looking forward to paddling again. Unfortunately, almost immediately after we started to paddle, we arrived at a large set of rapids that required us to scout from shore. Oh yeah, there's a whole ledge along that left side. All right, one sec. We're in a back ferry again over to that right shore. Yeah. I think what, I'm gonna try to make it onto shore, bro. Yeah. and tie up this back end on something and go scout it. After we had gone to scout the set, we had found a line, but it was going to require some tight maneuvers. forward strokes to get through these first waves. Okay. We're cutting left. Rock there. It's okay. Do a draw and get us into this slack water. Yep. Nice. Okay, back, uh, forward stroke. All right, back ferry. We gotta get right over. Yep. One sec. Forward. Okay, 
Okay, we're just gonna gun across. Couple forward strokes, hard. Spin us in. Forward, forward, forward. Hard, forward. We managed to complete the important moves and just slightly missed our line at the bottom. The most important thing was not hitting any rocks, which we managed to do. Yo, first of all, let's just clap that out. Yeah, dude. That was, that was sick. sick. Is your heart pounding? Yeah. Same. <laughs> Woo! Yo, we, I felt like we were in complete control the entire time there, honestly. Yeah, yo, that was, that was so awesome. So we're just uh, portaging around this uh, beefy set of rapids right now. It's probably about uh, 2.30 now, getting pretty late in the day. We've probably only gone about four kilometers. It's been pretty slow going today. Um, we're both really hungry. We've had just a granola bar other than our breakfast. So uh, we're gonna pull over and grab some lunch soon and, uh, and then uh, look to make a little bit more distance today. But I think overall, we're planning on having a short day today. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day and uh, we've been working really hard the last few. So nice to kind of take it slow get to camp at good time tonight and uh, yeah, have a little relaxed time before we go hard again tomorrow. Crap, put the bag on. Yo, we can't forget yours, eh? Yeah, yeah, I know. We are gonna sneak. Yeah. We're gonna sneak behind this big rock on our left. Okay. Give me some draws. There's waves, but we're okay. Nice. Okay, back battle. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Let's get over to our right a little. Good. Nice, I think we can just run this out, eh? Yeah, uh, no, there's one more rock. See that one? Rock, rock. This is the perfect example of the rocks that we are trying hard not to hit. We were lucky that this was a smooth rock, as anything sharper would have risked a puncture in our boat. So we're just pulled over on this nice little sandbar for a nice little meat, cheese, and mustard lunch again because we still have not taken the time in our evenings to cook any bannock for our lunches yet. So we're, that's, that's another reason we're trying to get to camp early tonight is to make some bannock for lunch tomorrow. But we're crushing through the wraps, which I guess is also good because they could go bad at some point technically. Still wet from yesterday's rainfall. The cheese? Yeah. Nice. That's exactly how I want it, actually. Taste that? Taste. You know the rules? You know? Mmm. Mmm. No, man. No. no. Can you rinse it off the water since everything else has been wet? just gonna taste like yesterday's pimp. Yeah. Yeah. So having just passed that uh, juicy set of rapids, that was definitely like, we could tell that the shorelines have been changing for the last little while. We're starting to get a little more sand and rock. But uh, rocks like this, like we barely had any alders to crash through at the beginning. It was just straight uh, rock portage, which that's like definitely something new um, in the scenery out here. We're gonna try to make it up a little bit further and uh, we're hoping to be able to find something like that for a campsite tonight. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what the river has in store for us. So we just paddled through a couple islands 
and it appears that there was another uh, forest fire out here. We've got some new growth happening at the base layer down here. So this fire must have happened quite a while ago. Jack pines are one of the fastest growing pines, growing on average two feet per year. They are also one of the first trees to grow after a fire because of their serotonous cones. This would suggest that the fire likely happened within the last six years. We're just checking out some of the new growth. Oh my goodness. What we were thinking might not be too difficult to get through has actually proven to be pretty tough. Oh my. Oh, it's hot. It's very <laughs> hot from the sun. From the sun. You're like, yo, this is still burning. Just a couple blueberries. This whole field is a blueberry patch. Here's a survival tip for you. If you guys are ever lost in the woods, find yourselves the nearest wildfire zone. Once in the wildfire zone, walk in. Then look down. You might see bushes filled with blueberries. Then pick blueberry, eat blueberry, be happy. Also some black flies in this zone. This is our home. This is our home. You guys want a, a little tour? I'd love a tour. Paddling tour? Yeah, paddle us around. Yeah. And this is where, this is where we're gonna put the tent. Right at this peak. Oh my god. I think that's looking like a, a stargazing spot, no? Definitely a stargazing spot. It could oh be, it my could god, be this that. is beautiful. So we decided to camp right at the top of a set of rapids. You can see like current just ripping past our site into the sets of rapids. You you get to choose which way you go. Choose your adventure. Yeah, I beautiful. It doesn't seem like uh, how it's going, eh? No, it hasn't been great for fishing at all. Caught one pike <laughs> this big. Yeah. <laughs> I still, I haven't caught a fish. Yo, yeah, you're still skunked right now. I'm skunked in the Hudson's Bay Lowlands. That's a, the title is something. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not.
Oh it sucks so bad. <laughs> Fire is out <laughs> After spilling the pot of water over our campfire, we rebuilt the fire and still managed to cook dinner as well as our bannock. But unfortunately, we had to do most of this in the dark. So sick. <laughs> so sick. We woke up to the perfect sunrise on the morning of day six. As I gathered our bags and set up for breakfast, I noticed that my Nalgene was missing. After doing a good search of the site, I figured it must have rolled off the rocks when I was getting into the tent last night. Luckily, we had an extra Nalgene on hand that I was able to use for the rest of the trip. I always keep a trip log and spend time journaling when I'm on my trips. It's something I appreciate reading back on for the memories years later. So it's the morning of day six right now, and uh, we're just packing up the final few things on our campsite before we hit the river. We know that the next little section is just filled with uh, rapids and so we're gonna really take our time. We're not in a huge rush. I think over the next five days, if we can average six kilometers of distance a day, uh, we're on schedule and if we do any more than that, then we might be able to get some rest days in. So we're just gonna head out here shortly. It's uh, just after eight in the morning and uh, yeah, should be a good day. Another sunny one anyways. The next section of river was a complete maze with water flowing through a series of islands. We decided to follow the flow along the right side of the river, which may not have been the right decision. Yo, I'm gonna keep us on a bit of a slant. Okay. To the uh, right. Yeah. Paddle forward. Yo, let's actually just sneak into the eddy up top. Yeah, sure. Paddle forward. Right here. Nice. Forward paddle. Okay, yo, we might actually need to sneak up the right side of this rock. Alright. Nice. So we're trying to make our way around all these islands right now. See if we can see what happens on the other side of them. We don't want to really commit to any direction until we know what's over there. So we don't end up like stranded on an island somewhere without the ability, like forcing us to have to make a, a move that we might not have normally wanted to make. So we're just taking our time and scouting this out. So just taking a look at this section behind us, there's no real route in any of the, uh, in between any of the islands. It's absolutely beautiful in here, but I think we're gonna stick uh, far right through this one. Uh, just in case because I it it drops a lot down there so I have a feeling we're gonna need to portage somewhere so make our way over to the right shore and and then portage around it all we decided that being on mainland was going to be important so we didn't find ourselves stranded on any of the islands and then Hug the right of these rocks. Go right, go right. Yeah. The rock there. Right. 
Okay. I'm trying to snug us in here so we don't move. That'll do. At this point, we had portaged down to the right side and paddled around this island. We were in an eddy, but we were on river left of this channel and we wanted to get over to river right. This is a straightforward ferry in a relatively low risk current, but because of the larger set that's down below, we wanted to take our time to ensure that we are being safe. My concern here is that like if we ferry across and we hit a rock like we just did here. Yeah. I don't know. What do you say we take it slow? Okay, right. just let it let the current take us here. We took our time making our way across the river and popping into nice. small eddies until we finally made it over to River Right. Okay, I think we're still good, eh? Yeah, looks like it. Keep a little left tilt. Yep, you got it. Awesome work, dude. All right, so this right behind me here is the perfect example of uh, a very simple maneuver that we had to make that if we didn't execute it perfectly had a high consequence. So we just ferried across the river behind me here to get to this side to get to mainland because we were on an island. And this is what we were kind of trying to avoid is being stranded on those islands out there. But below us, was a thick set of rapids that if we flipped up here or hit a rock and it ended up spinning us, there's a chance we might have ended up going down and having to hit that set, which, I mean, we'd be going into it completely blind with not knowing what a good line is at all and who knows what's down there, right? So just had to take our time out there. We started by lining the canoe and doing short liftovers for the sections that we could. Eventually, the river's edge got too difficult to navigate and we were forced to portage and land. Little did we know we had our work cut out for us. All of the fallen trees and the thick new growth forest made it an absolute nightmare to navigate, proving to be one of the most difficult portages on the trip. Portage took us hours to complete, nearly causing us to lose our minds. All right, so I have a new blueberry picking strategy. Rather than bending over while you're portaging and picking individual blueberries, I've been finding juicy bundles and just ripping off a small stem. It's like a little cotton candy cone of the north. And then you can just snack away. Oh, balance. Ooh, definitely deserve a couple blueberries after that jump. Come on, John, we go. I feel like in terms of getting around, we're best to stay up. This portage has sucked, but I feel like the blueberries have really turned it around. Blueberries are literally everywhere. So to get around this absolute crazy mess of islands, we've probably made it about 500 meters and it's been four hours today. So it's absolutely a slog, but we finally get to paddle at least for, I don't know, 200 meters I see in front of us. We'll see what's ahead after that. Do some draws. Nice. 
All right, now we're back frame. We're, we're in really good control right now. We're just gonna cruise right along all of them. Yeah. We're gonna go right of the rock down there. And then we're eddying out to your left here. Wait till we're in the slack water. There you go. Nice, dude. Oh, man. All right, so we're just having lunch quick. And in our first attempt to make the bannock last night, I may have added too much salt. Well, I definitely added too much salt. So we're trying to hide the salty bannock flavor with our toppings of jam, Nutella, and peanut butter. Let me just make sure I don't taste any bannock. <laughs> Yo, my bad there. Bro, hot second, I thought your paddle broke. Yo, yo, I, I was, I was paddling, and then I, like, I didn't lift up, you know? <laughs> yo, I don't know. You got this, bro. Nice. Yo, look how beautiful this was. It's amazing. How are we looking below? It looks great. Back paddle. Peeking right behind it. Yeah. We'll do a full uh, eddy turn. Yo, this is literally the falls right here, bro. Literally the falls. Yo, dude. Woo! Yes! All right, so we're pretty fired up right now because we just ran this not uh, too lengthy set, but it was right above a waterfall, and we basically had to make this maneuver work and we were hugging along river left and we couldn't have executed it more perfectly. And uh, the boys are fired up right now about that. So we're gonna go uh, scope out what uh, this set of falls looks like and then, uh, and then figure out a way around them. That was sick, dude. That was so sick. That was special, man. We stuck that line. So just, well. Just stuck it. It feels good. I'm so amped. I feel, I feel amazing I'm waist deep in water right now. Yo, that almost makes the, the stomach ache I had from all the blueberries we ate go away. <laughs> yeah. Almost. Yeah, almost. I'm not, not quite. Not, <laughs> not quite, quite there. Yeah. All right, let's go check this out. Let's do it. Perfect here. We had been grinding all day, but our work wasn't done just yet. We had one final portage that would be sure to drain any remaining energy that we had left.
into uh, this waterfall, portage around it, probably took us about an hour. We're gonna hit this next set of rapids and hopefully start looking for a nice rock outcrop to make home number six. Love it, let's do it. Okay, back pedal. Back pedal. Yeah, this looks good here. Yeah. Hey. Nice, dude. All right. So it's about seven o'clock now, and we just got to camp. We found a beautiful rocky shore uh, right next to a set of rapids. It's going to be perfect for the night. Today was an absolute grind. I think we were on the water for probably 11 hours and we covered somewhere between three and five kilometers. We're not sure yet. We're gonna take a look, closer look at the maps tonight. Absolute grind. Um, it's cloudy for most of the day and the sun's come out now so we've just set up camp, like a tent and stuff. So we're gonna go for a swim because uh, we need it. We definitely need it. <laughs> That's good. Does it feel good to have a set? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Best sit of the day. Best sit of the day. We didn't really get to sit in the canoe very long today. Huh. You didn't. Today we went hiking. Yeah. But the other good news is that our forest is back. A kilometer or two ago, finally the forest uh wasn't burned along the shore anymore, so we're happy about that. There's a lot of sharp sticks and stuff in there that we were worried would rip our dry pants. No more blueberries. Yeah, no more blueberries. We both had a stomach ache today after the blueberry fest. We're making tacos tonight. And this time we're adding cheese to it, which I'm super stoked about. Yo, what we should do is melt some cheese on top of that. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Oh my gosh, that looks so good already. Yo, man, here's your taco. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> oh my gosh. You want some hot sauce? I do. Oh my God. We're not sponsored, but. <laughs> <laughs> Maple bacon. Go grab yourselves a canister of maple bacon. And while you're at it, get some northern lights. I'm so stoked for this. Me too. I'm also so hungry. Dude. Well, everybody, you know the rules. One bite only. Wow, bro. Now that is a taco. It's a northern taco for you. It's really good. It's neat. It felt good when we could finally sit down after the day that we had just had. We had a good dinner, the stars were out, and we both ended up falling asleep next to the fire. We definitely needed our sleep tonight.